हरे कृष्ण लोअर्ड कॉन्शियसनेस कैन बी रिस्टोर्ड बट लॉस टाइम कान बी कांट बी रिगेन्ड वेन वी स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग भक्ति वी अंडरस्टैंड अवर स्पिरिचुअल आइडेंटिटी एज सोल्स हु आर ऑन अ मल्टी लाइफ जर्नी एंड वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द लॉन्गेवेटी न दर्नी द इटर्नैलिटी ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ भक्ति we understand the glory of bhakti is such that even if somehow we are not able to complete our spiritual practice and attain spiritual purification and perfection in this life still we can continue it in the next life arjuna asked this question uh, to krishna from from 6.37 to 39 and krishna answers from 6.40 to 45 and he says how the yogi who has not yet completed bhakti in one life in the next life that yogi gets either a uh, is born either in first in heavens and then in a prosperous or a, a prosperous family or already in a family of advanced spiritualists and then after describing this in 6.40 41 42 in 43 and 44 krishna says that how purva abhyase na tenaiva riyate yav shopisa tatra tam buddhi samyogam labhate purva dehikam so purva abhyas purva deha krishna says that whatever um, spiritual practice one had done that stays with us so that means the attraction towards krishna that we had got that is that is always there with us we do not lose that attraction towards krishna or even attraction towards transcendence in general that always stays with us and we are uh, attracted towards krishna in our future life also of course if we circ- if we put ourselves in circumstances where we become attracted to we become attached and and tempted and entangled by material things then that certainly degrades our consciousness and we need to reevaluate ourselves otherwise we will become trapped in our uh, in, in material conditionings so at one level when we fear how uh, how difficult it is to purify ourselves so at that time we can gain heart by remembering that even if our, even if in the future because of circumstances or con- conditions or conditionings we we slip or fall you know that's not permanent the, the consciousness may get temporarily lowered but because our attraction to krishna is still there within our heart the con- lost consciousness the lowered consciousness will be restored will be reelevated once again so this can give us hope when we feel discouraged but the mind is such that even positive things it can interpret negatively and that is sometimes the mind may say oh you have so many lifetimes even if you don't attain krishna in this lifetime you don't be- become purified you can do always practice bhakti in the next life and that may make us lax in our practice of bhakti but we need to know that yes lowered consciousness can be re-elevated but lost time can never be regained and that wo every moment that passes it is gone and gone forever it is irrecoverable and this the mood although we can our consciousness may go down and we can raise it up again but the time that goes in the lowering and the raising of the consciousness that time is lost and we have a finite amount of time for our practice of bhakti so if we lose the time that we have then that means we will for that much time for that much time longer have to continue on in material existence and प्रयत्नादितम इन सिक्स पॉइंट इन ए सिक्स पॉइंट फोर्टी फाइव कृष्णा से दट प्रयत्नादितमानस्तु योगी संशुद्ध किल विषय अनेक जन्म संसिद्ध सतो याति पराम गतिम ही सेज प्रयत्नादितमानस्तु वन हैज टू प्रयत्न वन हैज टू एंडेवर अर्नेस्टली सीरियसली जेरसली योगी संशुद्ध किल विषय ओनली बाय अर्नेस्ट एंडेवर विल द योगी बिकम प्यूरिफाइड एंड एन अनेक जन्म संसिद्ध इन दिस वे वेन वन प्रैक्टिस फॉर मेनी लाइफ टाइम्स तथो याति पराम गतिम देन वन कैन अटेन परफेक्शन सो वी नीड अर्नेस्ट प्रैक्टिस सो इफ इफ इवेंचुअली वी हैव टू फाइट आर अनर्थास एंड वी हैव टू ओवरकम आर कंडीशनिंग्स वी हैव टू रेजिस्ट द कंडीशंस सो इफ दैट बैटल हैज टू बी फॉट विथ विदाउट फाइटिंग द बैटल वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू विन द वॉर सो इफ दैट बैटल हैज टू बी फॉट देन वाई डिले द फाइटिंग <clears throat> the more time we spent here 
the more time we will actually be deprived of the eternal ecstasy of krishna bhakti we will be staying on in the miserable material existence and we will be beaten wounded and tormented by our mind and senses so knowing that the rather than wasting that time which is irrecoverable we can focus on putting our best effort putting on the uh, putting fighting with our full energy and marching on towards krishna and the wonderful thing about bhakti is that the more we become determined to fight although fighting seems to be an austerity fighting actually is fulfilling the more we struggle against our mind and senses the more we earnestly call out to krishna the more we connect with krishna and the more we relish the bliss of krishna bhakti so even the fighting itself gives us satisfaction what to speak of the purification and the liberation that are after that will give us sublime supreme everlasting fulfillment thank you hare krishna